Tomorrow is Juneteenth, and this year the celebration is taking on a new meaning amid the growing demands for racial justice. And here's a quick reminder about Juneteenth. It's celebrated every year on June 19th. It marks the day in 1865 when a group of slaves in Texas finally learned that they were free. But they should have been freed two and a half years earlier because that's when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. But here's the deal, no one told them. So for the last several years, people in our community have been coming together to celebrate Juneteenth. But as much as this day represents freedom, it's also a reminder of how enforcement of the proclamation had been slow and inconsistent. And despite coronavirus, there are still events planned for this year in Topeka to celebrate the day. But tonight we learned that some of those events will look a little different, though. KSN 2 News reporter Dan Garrett joins us live now with the latest on the changes. Dan. Yeah, Molly Brook, bad weather and the coronavirus are to blame for this year's changes for Juneteenth events here in Topeka. But that doesn't mean all the plans are off. People are still finding ways to celebrate the day. Typically on Juneteenth in Topeka, people gather at the Hillcrest Community Center. That's changing this year because of the coronavirus, but that's not stopping people from celebrating the holiday. Everybody coming together and to celebrate a holiday that has been basically had been left out of history books. Tomorrow at noon, people will meet at the Brown v. Board Educational and National Historic Site in Caravan to the Community Center. There will be another event from 5 to 10 tomorrow evening at the Gage Park Amphitheater. Rodney Harmon with the Topeka Family and Friends Organization says he expects a bigger turnout tomorrow because of the events happening nationally. America is coming together. You know, actually the country is coming together, being unified and recognizing the, the tragedies of what's been happening lately. It's uh, especially Juneteenth this year. I think it uh, has a little bit more meaning for a lot of people and uh, it's going to be a great, a great day. And uh, unfortunately, we may have some weather issues, but other than that, it's a great opportunity to learn a lot about uh, different people that live in our community. The expected rain has caused some groups to cancel events. The We Can't Breathe event at the Capitol is postponed, and the Black Lives Matter cookout at Betty Phillips Park is also postponed. Again, the first event is here at noon at the Brown v. Board building, and if you do want to come, you are encouraged to decorate your car. Live in Southeast Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News.